Hi everyone, thanks for watching this video. Today the topic is why API discovery is so important today. So first of all, yeah, so far on the last year we used to do API security by protection with a Swagger file or open API specification file. But now the game is changing and SecOps need more, more flexibility. And this is where API discovery is very important. Let me show you just one slide for, for the story. So as you can see here, we have API dev, okay, developing an application, APIs, endpoints. And we have SecOps. So the API dev push version one to, to the Kubernetes or whatever, okay? The platform uh, publishing and exposing the application, the API, and the SecOps uses open API file to protect these endpoints. But one day, could be the same day, the next day, the next month, it depends on the company and the organization. App dev, API dev will push the version two but they will not communicate with the SecOps, okay? So for the SecOps, it's still the version one in production. It's still the version one protected on the internet. And there is a drift, and the drift will block the new endpoint added by the version two. This is where the API discovery brings a lot of value for the SecOps. The API discovery will discover this drift, okay? And the SecOps will approve this drift, okay, we learn and we approve the drift so that the SecOps can be aligned with the API dev and so on, okay. So API discovery allows SecOps to be always aligned, up to date with, with what is running and exposed on the API platform. So now let's have a look how it looks like in XC, F5 District Cloud. So let's go to the WAP in my namespace uh have an api okay a sentence api so if i go very quickly in the configuration you will see it's very easy let me just edit my configuration i go to the api protection and you can see i have a definition a definition is a swagger or open api okay so i have a swagger file here uploaded to the platform and i validate endpoint validation means please check for every known endpoint uh please check if the parameter are fine, the query parameter or whatever, the past parameter, please check the, the values and so on. Okay, this is the validation. And for a known endpoint, please use the API discovery. So an AI and ML will discover and learn unknown endpoint and you will see that we will detect them. Okay, so that's it. So very easy, you can see two things to enable. Let's go back to the dashboards, okay? Uh, and go to the sentence API. Okay, so for information, uh, we are in July. Okay, we are in July today when I record this uh, this video. So the look and feel is the July look and feel, July 23, 2023. Okay, so let's go to my application. This is my dashboard for my application with the trends. Okay, so I have traffic over there from different sources. And let's go to the API endpoint. Here, let me just hide the widget on the top. You can see three very important terms, okay? The first one is called inventory. Inventory is what we know. This is my swagger, okay? So in my swagger, I can see that I have several endpoints, animals, adjectives, locations, and I have as well for the location, a slash ID, same for adjective, and different methods, okay? Get, post, and so on. Those are the, the norm, okay? So push by SecOps, thanks to API dev. Then the platform discovers traffic and cons API consume. Consume means there is a request and there is a response, okay? A positive response, okay? Successful response. And here I can see there is one that I don't know, but it's discovered, okay? You see in bright blue, the slash color, okay? Or the slash trading, okay? With uh, these two, these, these two endpoints. This is just discovered, okay? Discovered means discovered, <laughs> okay? Not shadow, 
Okay? The shadow is something that is discovered, but not part, do not belong of the inventory. And here I have nine, okay? I have nine endpoint discovered and not part of the inventory. And this one is the slash color is not part of the inventory. If I click on it, I can make a decision, okay? I'm a SecOps, um, I'm very confident, okay? In my company policy, if a name point is not part of the swagger, it's blocked. Okay, I click on configure and I block it, deny. Or I'm not confident because I have some difficulties to, to communicate with my API developers and I, I don't want to take any risk and I will just rate limit, okay? So I will rate limit this endpoint for this method and I will rate limit to run rate request, okay? So this is when, when I, I'm, I'm not really confident. So this is for one endpoint, okay, API course. But we discover a lot of things in a 5 discrete cloud. And let me show you what, what we discover. So now let me switch to another view, the table view. On the table view, you can see a lot of, uh, let's say, things discovered, okay? I have sensitive data, I have authentication. So let's take an example, for instance, for this one, okay? On this endpoint, it's part of the inventory, okay? I know it, part of the swagger, has been dis discovered, means consume, okay? With a request and positive response, successful response. And I can see several sensitive information. Okay, so I can click here, I go to the discover and I have several sensitive information. I have an email in a request body, an IP address in a header, XFF, so a social security number, I'm a U US, Okay, a credit card number. So here are information about what has been discovered in the request or in the response. We can see a credit card number in the request, but we should not see a credit card number in the response. Okay, should not be visible. What's more, we discover the schema. Okay, and you can see for the request or the body, I have information about what is sent or requested. Re request, response, exactly the same, and the full API specification. If I get back to my color, my color is here, shadow, okay. Let's say the, the SecOps open a service now ticket, okay. Say, guys, API dev, can you tell me if I should keep this API endpoint up and running on the internet or should I block it? And let's say the SecOps get an answer from the DevOps or API dev. Say, yes, yeah, yeah please, please approve it. We are late in our processes. We haven't pushed the version two of the Swagger, please approve it. In that case, the SecOps can download the spec file, okay? And update the Swagger. At this moment, the slash API slash colors, this one, will move from a discover shadow to a discover inventory, okay? So this is for the discovery of the endpoint. But as I said, we discover sensitive data and inside the sensitive data, we can discover uh, sensitive data that are generic, like emails, IP address, social security numbers. But we can also discover custom one. And here, as you can see, I created uh, one for the French mobile phone and one for the French social security number. So in the in the discovery, I can see here that I have both detected in the request or in the in the in the response. This is a custom PII. And the last thing is the authentication. We discover the authentication. So we know if one endpoint is authenticated or not. And if I click on the slash animals, I go to the discover and I have an information. On this one, it's a joy token. Bearer, joy token. Okay, good. So let's give me more details of the schema. I have the schema of the joy token. Okay. From here with the different clamps, first name, email, last name. This is for 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 the the animals but if i go to another one let's say this one i see a the risk score of 90. Uh, if i click on it i go to the discovered authentication basic code okay so if i click on the security posture this is why the risk is so high the risk is at 90 because it's a basic authentication it's a weak authentication okay so very quickly this is what you can discover how you can use this discovery to simplify operation, 
simplify communication between SecOps and API dev and to make your API more secure. Thanks for watching.